Ladies and gentlemen, welcome on into another fantastic episode of Bar Talk, the Mini Moto Monday. Happy Monday, happy Tuesday, happy Wednesday, happy Thursday, happy Friday, happy Saturday, happy Sunday. Whenever you're listening to this, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, good night. I hope that you are having the best day ever. And if your day isn't going the way that you want it to go, you have the power to turn around and make it extraordinary. So ask yourself, what kind of day do you want to have today? So today's episode is inspired by a recent conversation I was asked to give to a class back in April. I was honored that I was asked to speak to this class about how I got to where I am. And if I'm being honest, I am nowhere where I'd like to be, but I know that right now this is where I am meant to be and this is what I am meant to do in this very moment. So with that being said, I asked myself if I was just getting out of college because I was speaking to college students, what would I want to know, like what would, what would have been something that I wish I would have known in my early twenties, just getting out of school. So I made a list of the five things I wish I knew sooner and it went really well. So I thought I wanted to share it with you guys. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. But before we do that, guys, I just have, um, a few things I want to say really quick. If this is your first time coming on in to Bar Talk, guys, welcome on in to the bar. I hope you are enjoying bellying up with us, uh, metaphorically speaking, rather if rather it's listening uh, in your headphones, in your car, on your speaker, in your house, or watching on YouTube. Hello, guys. Um, however you are consuming content, I would really appreciate it if you guys would give us a follow. Um, subscribe, like, share, rate, review. It helps more than you know. Uh, 30 seconds out of your day to write a little review on why you enjoy this podcast would honestly mean the world to me. If you are a returning customer of mine, guys, welcome on back. I love having you here week in and week out. And I hope you guys enjoy it. If you want to follow us along, it is at Bar Talk with Jenna across the board. We are on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and TikTok. My personal page is at Jenna Duddleston. It's a mouthful, but you'll find it if you go to Bar Talk. So kind of fall down that rabbit hole. Okay, so let's go ahead and tell you and share with you the five things I wish I knew sooner. Okay, number one, it's not networking. It's making relationships. So I don't know about you guys, but when I was first getting started, the term networking literally sent like really uncomfortable chills down my body and I hated it so friggin' much. And I hated the thought of like having a conversation with someone and them just feeling like I just wanted something out of it. I absolutely hated it. So someone, um, just told me to really just flip the lens and the way that you view it. And it's just creating meaningful relationships, having a relationship just because it's having a meaningful relationship. Don't have a relationship with someone just to get something from them because eventually those people are going to stop answering your phone calls. And I can tell you right now, I know the people that call me when they need something So I don't answer the phone right away because I know they're just asking me to do something, which sounds really shitty. Don't get me wrong, but that's the truth. So I always say, you know, just you'd be amazed at how just, you know, staying in touch with people goes like, hey, how you doing today? Like thinking about you, like hope all's going well. Um, If you're a text message person, if you are an in-person person, person, uh, grabbing a cup of coffee, grabbing a drink. Um, just checking in on them, you know, like it really goes a lot longer. Those smaller little pebbles um, build up over time when someone knows that you are having a good relationship with them. So just continue to create really good relationships. Remember, it's not networking with people. It's creating relationships with people. Okay. Number two, be kind. It goes a very long way. I ask you this question. This was the question I asked the students. That person that was a bully to you in high school, would you hire them if you were in the position of hiring? I think we all know the answer to it, or you know the answer to it, and that's fine. But ask yourself that question. If you were the bully in high school, maybe you need to take a look in the mirror. Maybe you need to figure out how you can be kinder moving forward. Um, And, you know, ask yourself simply, are you being kind? Like a simple hello, looking someone in the eyes, guys, it goes a long way. It goes a long friggin' way. Just 
be nice. Like be, be nice with no agenda. Be nice just to be nice because you want to know why it's nice to be nice. You actually feel better. Like I, like you feel better when you're being nice, when you're being toxic and negative and you're just spewing hatred out there. It's literally you drinking poison, thinking that it's going to kill the person next to you. It, it's, it doesn't do any good. So guys be kind. It also is just like really good for your body too. Okay. Um, and I will say this too, being someone who has worked in the service industry for eight and a half years, well, is continuing to do, I'm working at my family's bar still. Who are you more likely to help? Like, so I asked myself this, who am I more likely to help to maybe give a free drink to the person that's being nice to me or the person that is being an utter fucking asshole? And the answer is, I'm more inclined to go out of my way to help the person that is being nice to me while I'm doing my job. And that's just how life is. If you are kind, people will help you. People are more willing to help you. It's also just the right thing to do, guys, okay? Just be kind. All right, number three, your education never stops. Always, always, always be willing to learn and evolve. When you think you've stopped learning, that's when you lose. And that is a metaphor that I swear I had beat into my brain when I was probably 14 years old um, playing travel volleyball. And the metaphor was right when you think you've reached the point where you're good, that's when your competition comes in and they're going to go past you. And then you're going to be down here because you think, well, I'm good being at this level, but the person behind you in the race is coming up, coming up, coming up, coming up, and they surpassed you. And then guess what? you've, you've lost. Okay. Um, and during the pandemic guys, when, when we were in like the thick of the pandemic, like I just came to this realization where I said, you have two choices in life. You can evolve or you can rot. And it's totally your call, but who do you think makes it in the long run? Okay. I have evolved more times than I can count since I have started doing this podcast in just a little over two years. I, I mean, I have changed, like, like the conversations are kind of still the same. What I'm doing is the same, but the behind the scenes, the, the, the way that I'm doing it, the way that I'm getting all of this information out to people has evolved so much. Um, and you know, guys like knowledge is power. I never realized that as a kid, like you hear it. And I was just like, I don't really care about this, but the older that I've gotten, I just want to be a sponge and I want to be able to know and learn as much as I can to, to help people, to like get it out there to you guys and whoever, and, and to help myself in, 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 in any way that I can. So your education is continuing on forever and ever and ever. And you have the choice to continue that education, to continue to learn, to continue to evolve. There are so many resources at the tip of your fingers, guys, right on here. I learn so much by using this phone. Okay. There is, uh, it to be used for good or for evil. I guess it's totally up to you. You can choose to spend eight hours a day scrolling aimlessly on TikTok, or you can use your TikTok to learn things, to go on YouTube, to educate yourselves in whatever way that you want, but that is completely and 100% your choice. So number three is your education never stops positive way of saying that is your education is always continuing. Remember that. Okay. Number four, know your value and your worth. So hear me out guys. This is going to take time for you to understand. Okay. I definitely did not understand my value and my worth coming out of college. I probably just started to understand my value and my worth probably within the last year, I'd say, maybe even less than a year. But I think, you know, like you can hear that saying, and and I guess maybe the question you're asking yourself to, to you or to me is like, Jenna, like, okay, I, I hear you, but like, how do I understand what my value and my worth is? And this is what I would say to you is like every single person on this planet, every person who is listening or watching this, you have a gift that only you can do. And that is what sets you apart from the rest of your peers. It, it separates you from the rest of everyone. You were put on this earth because you have special gifts that you are meant to give back 
to the masses. Okay. Now, if maybe you don't know what these are, and, and I'll tell you, like when I started figuring this out or asking myself this question, I had very um, vulnerable conversations with people in my life that I felt who knew me the best, who knew me the best, excuse me. So this is what I would encourage you to do. Ask two to three of the closest people in your life and don't necessarily pick the people who are going to tell you things that you want to hear because you need to find the people in your life who are going to tell you things that you need to hear. Those are two very different things. Okay. But ask those closest people in your life, what they think your best traits are. And you will be amazed at what insight this will give you. Because sometimes when you're too in it, it's too hard to see. You're too foggy. You're in the thick of it. You don't even realize what it is that you're doing, what it is that you're providing back to people. And I will tell you that having those conversations with those people and even just people from maybe just different areas of your life, like don't all keep them in the same, maybe don't, maybe don't always go to all of your, your friends, maybe ask some of your colleagues, maybe ask some of your, um, God, your like old classmates, like your the people you work out with the people, you know, like just ask different air er- people in different areas of your life, because I'm, I'm telling you the insight that they're going to give you is going to be amazing. And my example for this is when I, was, um, doing bar talk and I had submitted bar talk to a network and they basically got back to me and said, you know, we like you. It's just not now. Um, I was distraught and I was so heartbroken and my old roommate, I came home and told him and I was really sad and I was crying. And he said to me, Jenna, I know the person that you need to speak with, like, that's going to help you get through this. And I said, who is it? And he goes, oh shit, it's you. And I said, it's me. What do you mean? It's me. And it honestly was that conversation with him that made me realize he's like, Jenna, you give a lot of great advice and input and you view things very well. And like, he's like, I always go to you for my problems. Like, you know, so that is kind of what made me start to pivot a little bit in the podcasting and and just doing different things. So that I think is a great example for, I would have never have known that had my old roommate told me that. So I'm going to tell you the story guys, tying back into my value and my worth of how I started applying for jobs, um, back in the beginning of the year. And what's interesting about this is, and I swear, I never thought that I would, would like say this, Working at my restaurant job, working as a bartender, working as a server made me realize how valuable I was um, in terms of money. And what I mean by that is I was making really good money for someone who was working four, five days a week, was able to clock in, clock out, never think about my job again. And I was making fat cash, slinging drinks, selling pizzas on the Chicago Riverwalk. And when I started applying for jobs, I had three jobs that I applied for beginning of the year. And when I was approached with how much money they were offering me and I did the math and I said, I'm going to be working double, if not triple what I was working at the restaurant making a third of what I made at the restaurant. And I did this much work at the restaurant. And so those three jobs, I said, no. Reason why I say this, the reason why I want to give this example to you is because the job, the place, the situation that you're in right now is actually helping you understand your value in a way that maybe you would have never thought because I never in a million years would have thought that being in the restaurant industry for as long as I have would have helped me realize my value and my worth as an employee. But it totally, totally put that light into perspective for me. Number five, know that where you are is exactly where you are meant to be. 
Okay. I, this one was such a hard one for me to learn because I feel like, especially when you're getting out of college, but in anything in life, right? Like you're so caught up in the, like where you want to go to next, the next accomplishment, the next vacation, the next thing you're supposed to do that in doing all of that, you're missing the best gift of all, which is the gift of being present. There's a reason it's called the present. Like that's a super corny thing to say, but your girl loves corny shit. Okay. But seriously, being present in every moment, you're going to, you're going to like, just realize how much you have in those moments. And to follow up with that, okay, of knowing that where you are is exactly where you're meant to be at, guys, you can be present and you can still be working towards your next goal, which is moving you forward, which is moving you ahead in the direction where you want to go. And I'll also say this too, and I've said this before, you can't move forward until you learn the lesson, okay? So while you're on, think about it like in a video game setting, right? Okay, I'm not a, I'm not someone who does video games, but this is the best analogy that I can give to you. When you're playing video games, you're always trying to upgrade to the next level, right? But you can't upgrade to that level until you beat the level that you're currently on, until you learn what it was that you needed to learn in that level. So that being said, once you learn what it is you need to learn in this present moment and you figure it out, that's when you can go up to the next level. And that next level is going to have challenges just like the previous level, but you can't move forward until you learn what it is that you are meant to learn. And the funny thing about you can't move forward until you learn the lesson is it's going to keep coming back to you in different areas of your life, whether it's in dating relationships, in issues, in family relationships, in your work, in the way you communicate with yourself. You can learn it now, or you can learn it the fifth time around, like that's totally up to you and it's completely your call, but you cannot move forward until you learn the lesson. Okay. And I want to kind of circle back a little bit guys to the present for the longest time. I was so worried about getting to the next place in my career that I know I missed moments where I needed to be present. And that makes me looking back and reflecting. It actually makes me sad because I'm like, God, I, I probably missed great small moments with just different human beings and and strangers and the and smells and you know like just very very little things and it honestly I, again it sounds crazy but it wasn't until losing my job during covid that i realized how much i was lacking being in the moment and how much i was just not present So I guess what I'll say to you guys in conclusion of this number five is I know that you probably all have things in life that you want to accomplish, places that you want to get to. You will get there. It will happen. It will happen because you've asked for it. And when you point and ask for something, it actually comes to you. It's just how the universe works. It's how law of attraction is. Um, That is how it works. And right now, in this very moment, this is where you are meant to be. And there's a reason why you're meant to be here. There's a reason why you are meant to be in this moment and not at that maybe dream destination that you want to be at yet. You'll get there, but you can't truly enjoy that until you kind of go through the thick of it and and learn the thing, learn those hard lessons that you need to learn. So be present and know that where you are is exactly where you are meant to be. And when you have finally figured out why you were meant to be there and the lesson that you were meant to learn, that's when you can go to the next chapter in your life. All right, guys, that is my short sweet mini moto Monday on five things. I wish I knew sooner. I would love to know which one of these resonated with you the most. And I would love to get your 
feedback on this as we are going to test out these minis. I like them. Um, I like little short, sweet guys. I know we all don't have um, sometimes an hour to listen to a full podcast. I'm going to give you guys a little short, sweet ones every Monday moving forward. Thank you all so much for listening on in. And I hope you all take the time today to realize that we have way more in common with each other than we have different. I'll see you next time. Take care.